Hi everyone, this is Jamie Sorensen here at Two Peas in a Bucket with another video for our CHA online social. Um, the theme is Winter Runway, so we have a whole theme of giving you the latest um, peeks at the styles and trends out on the market. And the sponsor for this video is Prima Marketing and we have some really gorgeous new designs to share with you. When I think of Prima, I think of all of the different flowers that they have designed. They never cease to amaze me when by coming out with new ones, and each one's so different and unique and beautiful. Um, this top left one is called Classic Lace, and they give you some nice feminine colors um, to go with the lace with beautiful pearl centers. This one is called the Fitzgerald and I think the petals with all the different layering is really pretty and then the centers are are really neat. They've pulled in some sequins um, and pearls and put them in the center by wrapping um, wire in a few different ways there. These are the Angelica Rose set. They come with 10 and if you'll notice they start from um, white or I'm sorry not white but very 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 pale pink and then they go down to a darker color so you get a nice um, range of color there these are the um, these are the flowers for the eminence collection and these are different in that the other floral flower sets that we see they have the same flower design but these do come with different flowers within them if you're looking for a variety and they've got some nice distressed edges and centers which are very pretty. These are from the Regent collection and they remind me of a ballerina with the, the just really delicate fabric and the edging kind of reminds me of a tutu almost and then they have some really intricate beading in the center. This set is from the Petticoat Collection and again there's a lot of really delicate layering and then the centers. Um, this one has a nice set of little beads in the center there. These flowers here I've taken out of the packaging and I just love the way the fabric is twisted up and they've got this just really rich deep color to them. Um, this is from the Love Note collection. And over here we have the decorative border strip. Um, they've just done something really fun by gathering material and pleating it. And then they have this long strip of pretty crystals to go down the center. So this could be a great border for a page or even wrapping a gift with it would be really beautiful. All right, so um, when I, I also, when I think of Prima, I think of just layering um, in their different patterns. They do a lot of layering of designs and textures, and so it seems very fitting that they have a series of masks where they give you the different um, stencils so that you can get messy with paints, mists, chalk, anything you like to use and mist over or chalk over them to create this design. So to give you an idea, if you've not played with these before, I'll show you the packaging for this set. Um, this would be kind of the result from using a variety of mists. The stencil kind of acts as a silhouette. And then they've got this great effect, when, especially when you use mists. And you can definitely blend mists and um, to create your own custom background. Um, so this particular set comes with these two designs. And you can buy them so that, um, well, they've made them so that when you buy Prima stencils, they come on this little edging that has a hole in them. So if you want to um, put them on a ring and keep them all together, that's easy to do. 
This is another set that we have here, and the pattern included here is pictured. Gives you a great, nice, long strip. Um, this is another mask that they've come out with that is quite large and a fun size, this great leaf silhouette. in a circular shape. I love that they've done that. They've introduced a product they're calling Mistables and um, this one is a fun canvas sheet that has the different designs that you could cut out um, and they have recommended, they must have been partnering with Tattered Angels and they recommend Tattered Angels products with their canvas sheets. Here also is a patterned mistable, so if you like this pattern, you can just b continue to build on this page with your art supplies and mists. Very pretty. This is kind of a fun and different product. It's um, a set of flocked rub-ons, and um, I see on the packaging here it says it's very easy to use that you can just apply this like you would a rub on um, and you can just rub it on even with your fingertip it's pretty easy to use you could see this being a fun thing to cut apart and create your own little custom shape with okay here in this little plate I've also put another of their blossom sets out and these are so cozy and warm. They're made of um, yarn. They just look like a, a cozy sweater. And then they've looped in this really delicate fabric and put pearl centers in the middle of it. Very pretty. These I think people will really like and I think they're really fun. They're called sculpture flowers and they look like something that would you would decorate a cake with. Um, so here they have a fun, kind of a cool and warm mix of flowers. There's 18 pieces. And here they have the roses. I take more of the flowers. I've taken out some of the, I'm sorry, all of the flowers in this one set. You get um, a bunch of different kinds and patterns. Um, these, this is from the Love Notes collection, and I love that they've not just included florals, but these crocheted doilies as well. They're really pretty. Got a fun mix of colors there, too. All right, next I have the paper to show you. This is from the Melody collection. It's got this great um, deep purple and pink and, and gold in it along with browns and aquas and I think that it would be lovely paired with those flowers over there. Um, sorry I got sidetracked. Okay so this this pattern is called Troubadour and I like Prima patterns in that um, they kind of give you a good starting place to work with like this pattern for example. Um, gives you a nice frame and a good place to journal or just put your photos in the center there. Very elegant floral pattern. Again, one of their kind of bordered patterns. Here's that deep gold color that and the light pink makes for a really pretty pattern they're calling Poppy. More of a tile kind of pattern. And I like that the background has this really subtle texture that almost looks like a canvas. Here's a fun pattern that looks like it's kind of collaged together. It's called Songbird. And throughout these patterns you'll see little bits of script that are in kind of wavy lines that have the feel of um, song lyrics and music. Nice distressed pattern. This one is called Melody. Some pretty silhouettes in there. 
This is Arabesque. Potting Shed. Timeless. This one is called Gathering Leaves. Love all the layering again. This one brings in all the colors used. Nice pretty deep pink with the ledger and a simple scroll. Here's more of those words and collaged elements. We have the bird cage. Again, more of a tiled pattern. And this one is called Goldenrod. Very pretty. In the back you'll see it's a very subtle floral pattern. Alright, so that was Prima. Thanks so much for watching. For your chance to win a prize pack of this product, please leave a comment on the event blog post by Sunday evening the 30th. We will be announcing the winners on Monday. Thanks for watching.